Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Ding Liren and Fabiano Caruana. This is a game from the World Chess Championship Candidates match played in 2020. Ding Liren had white pieces and he started with d4. Fabiano Caruana played d5. c4, the queen's gambit. c6, the slough defense, maybe. Knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3. D takes on c4, the slow defense indeed. a4, preventing b5. Bishop to f5, the standard move, white to move. e3, and knight to e5 are the two most played moves. Ding Liren played knight to e5. Black to move, e6 was played. Knight from b to d7 is the most played move. And after knight takes on c4, most of the time black plays queen to c7. After g3, e5. This is a popular book line. Back to our game. e6 by Caruana. f3 intending e4. Bishop to b4, white to move. Knight takes on c4 was split. Let's take it back. If e4, then one line goes like this. Well, black may play bishop to g6, but one line goes like this. Bishop takes on e4, f takes on e4, knight takes on e4, bishop to d2, queen takes on d4. Perhaps this was not to Ding Liren's taste. Back to our game. So Ding Liren played knight takes on c4, Caruana castled kingside, white to move. How would you continue? Bishop to g5 looks like a standard move. Ding Liren played King to f2. What do you think of this move? Well, this move may look wrong to humans, but this is the first choice of my silicon assistant. Black to move. Caruana played e5. Naturally, black wants to open up the game because the white king seems a bit exposed. Let's take it back. If knight from b to d7, e4. But c5 would be a pretty good move. Opening g1, a7 diagonal would not suit the white king. One line may go like this, e4, bishop to g6, bishop to e3, c takes on d4, if bishop takes on d4, then knight to c6 and black is okay. And what else? If queen takes on d4, queen to e7, intending knight to c6, black is ok. Back to our game. e5 was played. Perhaps Caruana didn't pay a serious attention to king to f2 in his preparation. The game continued. Knight takes on e5, bishop to c2, this is a tactic. Queen to d2, Ding Liren didn't take the bishop. If queen takes on c2, queen takes on d4, check. And after bishop to e3, queen takes on e5. Back to our game. Queen to d2. c5 now. d5. Keeping the diagonal closed. Bishop to b3. e4. Rook to e8. Queen to f4. c4. Opening the diagonal. Knight takes on c4, controlling b6 square. White is now two pawns up, and black doesn't have a serious compensation for his lost material. Or maybe he has, what do you think? The game continued. Knight from b to d7, bishop to e3, knight to f8, bishop to d4, knight to g6, queen to f5, bishop takes on c4, bishop takes on c4. White has a bishop pair and he's two pawns up. The game continued. Queen to c7, bishop to e2, bishop to c5, bishop takes on c5, queen takes on c5, check, king to f1. And white now has a problem on the dark squares. Additionally, white rooks are no longer connected. This requires a precise play by white. h6, rook to d1, queen to b6, rook to d2, Queen to e3, rook to c2, a6, queen to h3, b5, 
queen to g3, b4, knight to d1, queen to b3, rook to d2, queen takes on a4, queen to f2, queen to d7, g3, intending king to g2, but now queen to h3, check, king to g1, if queen to g2, perhaps black would play queen to d7. So after check, we have king to g1, the king's rook is not participating in the game yet. a5, queen to d4, knight to h5, knight to f2, attacking the queen, queen to d7, white to move. Perhaps most players would play king to g2, but Dean didn't play the sharper move. f4, black to move. Knight from h takes on f4 was played. Why? If knight to f6, e5, and white has the initiative. So we have knight from h takes on f4, g takes on f4, knight takes on f4, king to f1, queen to d6, rook to g1. Nothing serious, just threatening the checkmate on g2. f6, bishop to b5, attacking the rook, rook to e7, b3, preventing a4, at move 40, white is clearly better, but Caruana is a strong player, and the game is not finished until the skinny lady sings. The game continued, rook to f8, rook to c2, knight to e6, attacking the queen, the pawn is pinned, queen to e3, knight to g5, h4, knight to f7, rook to c6, queen to b8, queen to c5, queen to d8, white to move. White has many good moves in this position, like one of them is bishop to c4. Ding Liren played rook takes on f6, the more exciting move. The pawn is pinned anyway. King to h8, let's take it back, if rook to c7, attacking the queen, then rook to c6. King to h8, rook to f5, rook to c7, bishop to c6, a4, b takes on a4, b3, rook to g3, b2, rook to b3, knight to d6, rook takes rook check, queen takes rook, rook takes on b2, queen to f4, Rook to b8, check. King to h7, queen to c2. Rook to e7. e5, discovered, check. Knight to f5. Queen to e4, offering to trade queens. Queen to c1, check. King to g2, g6, white to move. White has a great choice of moves. Like d6, bishop to e8. Ding Liren played rook to b3. With this move, he is saying to Caruana, what you are going to play now? Indeed, it's hard to find a good move for black. So, in this position, Caruana resigned. And let's go back to move 9. This is the position. King to f2. This move played an important role in collecting a full point. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.